If you look at um, our dairy cows and our beef cows, there's a lot of differences between them. So dairy cows have been bred to be very optimal for dairy production. And as it happens, that brought along the horned phenotype. In other words, dairy cows grow horns. If we look at our beef animals, they've been bred for optimal beef production. Um, and as it happens, Angus, for example, is a breed that doesn't have horns. And we don't really want horns in, in dairy production systems because the animals hurt each other with the horns and they can hurt the human workers. It's a widely accepted husbandry practice that we dehorn cattle, both for the safety of the cattle as well as for the safety of the people that take care of the cattle and work with them. The way that the disbudding procedure is done here routinely is uh, we will administer a lidocaine block. A lidocaine is a local anesthetic similar to what you might get at the dentist's office for a procedure that might be painful. And then we use an electric uh, dehorning or disbudding instrument that provides uh, heat around the horn bud to kill the, the, the cells that would grow the horn. Consumers are concerned about the way we care for our dairy animals and they expect us to do a good job of uh, providing care and, and being uh, uh, concerned about animal pain when we have to perform procedures. So I think it's important that we keep those factors in mind and, and do the best job that we can to try to minimize pain and discomfort. We're working in collaboration with a company called Recombinetics who had a vision to try to use um, precision breeding or, or genome editing to introduce genetics from Angus cattle to the Holstein dairy breed to produce dairy cattle that don't grow horns. And so we haven't altered anything about all of the genetics that makes them great milk producers and, and um, you know all of their Holstein genetics is still in place. What we've basically done is a, is a very precision technique of just introducing one trait that we want, which is polled or hornless, and we haven't altered the rest of the genetics. With the change of technology, it looks like that we can achieve the goal of, of having calves born without horns and not have to give up the genetic uh, capability of those animals. So it, it looks like a win-win situation. We've still got very productive, efficient dairy animals and we now have the opportunity or possibility of no longer needing to dehorn or disbud dairy calves.